just say thank you for Freddy uh, and Queen Booty Fool for following me on Twitch and I would like to get a shout out to uh, Paulette, Jeremy, uh, Belle and Jane for following me on Google Plus and on YouTube. Very appreciated. Uh, I would also like to thank all the people that is following me on Twitch and for those new people who have been following me on Facebook, on my Facebook page. Very appreciated. And so yeah, uh, we are gonna play this game. Oh, my throat is getting weak. Okay, wait, I just need... Okay, fine, sorry. Um, yeah. So, like, we played last time, or not the last time I streamed, but like, when we played the first game, uh, basically the story was that we were gonna investigate why a factory wouldn't open, and we found out that there were some hidden people that have caused the reason for being shut down because of some killing and so on. So let's see if this is a uh, continuing of what's going on because they actually didn't uh, bother that uh, the guy that was uh, kidnapped from the hidden people, uh, you know, were gone. The government was like, well, the factory is open, so I don't mind, it's fine for me. So yeah, let's find out. New game. Oh, that was loud. Okay. New game. Press start. Each tethers. Nelson Tethers, Department of Puzzle Research. Just arrived in Scoggins, Minnesota. There's a weird man staring at me. Some kind of situ thing going on at the local eraser factory. Locals report hearing whispers. Snow must be playing tricks on my eyes. For a second I thought I saw... So yeah, this is what happened hmm. in the other game. Can also see the unique details of the moon. Rotated rings of the scorp until each ring is locked in place and each column of symbol contains no uh, publicate I don't get this oh wait wait um Some hints, like are my hints from my other game transfer to this game? Eraser Factory is back open, even though Foreman Isaac Dabner remains missing. The bureaus marking this case officially closed. Hiya, Nelson. Thought you'd left for the night. Okay. And uh, just to make things clear, uh, yes, I know the game seems a little bit laggy and so on, but it's part of the charm of this cartoonish game. 
like not all the frames are there and suddenly we now can speak to this guy how are things going in vegetable crimes the guys in leafy greens are pretty busy but you know how dull it is in roots and tubers we haven't had a real case since the taro murders back in 76. what i wouldn't give to see some field action like you did puzzle division wow wow okay so this time it's not crossing out what we already be saying yeah, puzzle division isn't that exciting or... come on nelson you were out of the office a whole week okay it does are you looking through the Scoggins file? I sure am. Oh, I hope you don't mind. It's just, I'm kind of a fan. You didn't just reopen some eraser factory. You completely cracked that case like it was some first-timer's letter substitution puzzle. Yeah, crack that case wide open. Trespassing. So, what are you doing in my office? Check it out. I just solved the latest from Japanese puzzle master Hanji Monosaki. It's rated four dragons. Looks like you've got some competition in the puzzle solving department. Yeah, about that. Can you solve this four dragon puzzle designed by puzzle master Haji Munasaki? Uh, what is the next number? Oh no. Can't I get a hint? Um, one one two two one two. What is the next number? One 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 two one two one. Since one 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 two one two one. It's either one or thirteen. No, it's not thirteen. Uh, we're gonna try one. I'm not good at this. Is that fair? Yes, I wanna retry. Can I get a hint? Oh, I actually have. The pattern seems to reset after hitting 12. The pattern seems to reset. After hitting twelve. Ah, oh, so it's three. One, two, three. I would have never guessed that. Christmas tea comes uh, nice. What an achievement. Nice try, Jim, but you see here. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Don't worry, you almost. Hey, Jim, if you like puzzles, maybe you could do me a huge favor. I'm going to be taking some time off, and I've still got all these tapes from the Scoggins case. You want me to log them into evidence? These tapes must have all the puzzles. Yep. Thanks, Jim. And I'll probably be recording more notes while I'm away. What a no problem. Just mail them back to me and I'll file them through vegetable crimes. Thanks for the help, Jim. Yeah, Nelson. Have a good trip to... wherever. The Bureau's marking this case officially closed, but I can't leave it like this. The factory foreman is still missing. And there has to be some rational explanation for all the things I've seen. It's going to take all my vacation time, but I won't be able to relax until I've found Isaac Dabner and gotten to the bottom of this case. The only way to do that is to go back to Scoggins, Minnesota. Nice. It's continuing. Oh, there's a gum in the window. I think. I'm finally back in Scoggins. The place is a lot quieter at night. I don't see any of the familiar townspeople. 
There is Bjorn. I'm going to check into Valda's Inn and get a fresh start on the case in the morning. Okay, welcome. Oh, there's a lot of gums. I guess there's gonna be some hard puzzles then, since we need a lot of gums. Okay, we're going in. Hello! Oh my, Mr. Agent Tethers! You seem like... Not really calm. More, 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 more. Gum, 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 gum. We want gum. There we go. Good evening, Mrs. Garrett. Oh dear. I mean, good evening, Agent Tethers. I didn't expect to see the FBI back here in town. Not now that the eraser factory's back up and running. This is just a personal trip. Has anyone heard from the factory foreman, Isaac Davner? What? Who? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I mean, I don't recall anyone with that name. Hmm. So then and now they're just going to pretend that it didn't exist. Okay. I never did get to try your famous hot dish. Oh, well, have a seat and I can whip up. I mean, we're all out. No, sir, not a scrap of it anywhere. Can't make any hot dish for the guests just come in from the cold. Oh, that's disappointing. Yeah. I suppose the factory's still running with no problems? Oh, yeah. Our plant supplies the White House with all of its erasers, don't you know? Yes, ma'am. It's a national treasure. And you helped us get to the bottom of that nasty incident like a real town hero. Well, it was no... Which is why it's so unusual that you'd be back in town again. Do you know where I can get some chewing gum? Gum? Oh my, no. You won't find a stick of it anywhere in town. Not until spring at the earliest, and maybe not even then. Why do you say that? There have been rumblings in the town council trying to ban it within city limits. Wow. But gum's the only thing that helps me concentrate. Yeah, it's all part of the new Keep Scoggins Beautiful campaign. It's just a darn shame. You can see pieces stuck to walls and trees everywhere you look. Hmm. I'll be on the lookout for it. Could I get the same room I had last time? Oh, no. Oh, dear. Uh, this is terrible. We've... er... Uh, uh, we're completely booked up, I'm afraid. No vacancies. No vacancies? In Scoggins? Oh, yeah. Lots of, you know... Tourists here for the snow and uh, erasers. Look, you can see here for yourself. Marta claims that she have booked all of the rooms in the inn. Can you figure it out a room assignment that will satisfy everyone's requests and spare the room for Nelson to try it? Okay. Rules: There are six rooms added in. Three on each floor. The guests required are the mix Mr. Ma Mr. Maxwell insists he stay on the floor above Miss Ralu. Miss Dimpleton Dimpleton will not stay on the same floor with more than with more men than woman. Mr. Blessing and Mr. Cl uh, Clareman always get rooms at the same floor okay 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 uh, when rules uh, Mr. Blessing and Clamor 